Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Nikki and I post a variety of different types of videos on this channel. But in today's, I am going to be showing you guys how I have been taming Rhino for the past two months. Um, I, I started this video at the end of March, actually. This video is actually a part two to my first taming video where I talked about the beginning steps of taming your hamster. So like those are the steps that you should take like right when you get your hamster and a couple of weeks after. And then this video is the part two where I continue taming Rhino and I build on what I said in that video. So I would highly, highly recommend if you haven't seen that taming video to go watch that one first and then to watch this one so you can kind of see how he has progressed and see how I personally have gone about taming him. I finished filming this video that you guys are about to watch at the end of April. Yeah, at a little bit before the end of April. And so that's about where I am now. I think that I am going to be making a part three to that video. It kind of depends on if I have anything else to film. And just to kind of round out this hamster taming series, I really, really hope this video will help you guys to see how I have done it and how you guys can do it too. And also kind of show you guys my struggles with taming Rhino, but I'll get more into that in the end of the video. I keep forgetting to say this in all of my hamster videos, but if you want constant um, current updates on Rhino's taming, please go ahead and follow my hamster Instagram, Fuzzball Hams and I post a bunch of updates and things like that on Rhino's Taming on there. But without further ado, this video is pretty long, very detailed, and I So hope as you guys heard, all guys. of these bathtub bonding clips were taken towards the end of March, so quite a I while ago. I actually stopped bathtub bonding towards the beginning of April because he just did not really seem like he wanted to interact with me a whole lot in the bathtub, and it didn't really seem like we were getting anywhere at all. So if you feel like your hamster isn't progressing at all with the bathtub bonding method, that's when I just said, I'm just going to work with him inside the cage. But while I, whenever we were doing this bathtub bonding, I would continue just working on picking up and handling him. This is how I guess I just kind of got him used to it at the beginning. That's kind of just what I would do in the bathtub. I just continued letting him climb all over me and whenever he would climb onto my leg I would try to scoop him up. Also by the way I would definitely suggest wearing long pants when you do bathtub bonding because it lets them crawl around on your legs a lot easier and they can grip the fabric a lot easier than a leg so it's just more fun for them to be able to crawl all around on you. But anyways yeah I would just try to scoop him up. I really suggest using the scooping method and not the claw method because sometimes that can make them feel like they're being picked up by a bird or something. Um, and it's really just about working at your hamster's pace. That is something that was so hard for me to learn is that this is just about your hamster getting comfortable with you and they're not going to be comfortable with you if you move faster than they are comfortable with, which I actually started doing that and I could tell Rhino was not ready and so it's all just about seeing where your hamster's at and moving on from there. So as you guys can probably tell from watching this for a little while is that I just kind of do the same exact thing over and over. I constantly am just trying to gently pick him up and I'm not trying to really do anything that he doesn't want to do um, and just really be gentle. That's the whole thing. You want your hamster to like you and if you are constantly going at them super harsh or they're going to try to run away from you. So yeah. A couple of times I have let Rhino just run around in my bathtub. Again, this was still towards the beginning of the taming process, so I don't really do this a whole lot because I just find that there's really not a whole lot of interaction really going on. He's kind of just exploring, which is super fun for your hamster, and I would definitely advise just letting them kind of run around in something like this once in a while. But in terms of actually him getting onto my hands and us working on picking up, uh, it didn't really help a whole lot, but 
as you guys can see, he is sitting on my hand and he is eating out of my hand. Sorry, my head is in the way right now. You guys can barely even see, but yeah. Hey guys, thought I would give you guys a quick little update, but I just gave Rhino some spinach for the first time. I've really been trying to introduce him to a bunch of new types of foods lately. A couple days ago, I gave him some apples, and he really likes cucumber. I think that his favorite has been apples so far, though. I gave him a variety of cucumber, broccoli, carrots, things like that. Of course, not too many of any of these because some of them do have a pretty high sugar content, especially like the carrots and the apples. Hamsters should pretty much have a good a variety of diet, if that makes any sense. You don't want to give them too much at any time because that could upset their stomach. But since since Rhino is fairly new to me, I've what had I was trying to say in that last clip, but it kind of cut off, is that now, since I've only had months, Rhino for a little bit of time, it's really good to introduce your hamster to a bunch of new foods so that they can get used to them and it won't upset their stomach if you just give them to it all at once. Um, but as you guys can see, I am in a little playpen here. I'm just kind of working with Rhino again on some of the same things that I've been talking about in this whole video. Um, just working on him climbing onto my hands with food and pretty much everything that I've been doing. First time I've ever taken him out of the cage um, without putting him in the bathtub. I'm trying to see if he'll take some treats from me. I'm really trying to get him used to coming on my hands and you know picking up because that's the ultimate goal. By the end of this video, I just really want to be able to like pick him up and handle him whenever. So I'm sure he's a little bit um, confused right now because I've never taken him out in my room before. So I guess we'll have to see if he likes this or not. Hey guys, so it is currently day. April 8th and I just picked up Rhino whenever he climbs on here I have been actually picking him up like oh he just jumped well we're kind of working on that a lot I'm just thought I would show you guys what I do when I'm not taming him in the bathtub I tend to just give him little treats like this he loves to crawl up onto the top of his hideout as you guys can see he's gotten so much better with tolerating this Especially since my last video, like at the beginning of that video, I could barely even really stroke him and he's completely fine with it now. He just finished his treat and now I'm going to attempt to pick him up. As you guys can see, he always wants to jump out, but I did successfully pick him up. I always like to put him right back down at the end because I don't want him getting scared or spooked or anything. I do put his food in just this food dish that I have, but I thought that just to give him something to do, I would scatter feed it. This really encourages your hamster to kind of look for their food like they would in the wild. And I'm not going to scatter feed all of it, I'm just going to scatter feed some of it so that he can go and find those seeds later when he is bored maybe. By the way, uh, if your hamster is ever bored, I would definitely go and suggest looking at my DIY toys and boredom breakers video that I just posted today actually, which this video will probably not be going up till the end of April, but we'll see. Hey guys, so today is currently April 14th and I thought that I would just go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a update on how Taming Rhino is going. It's almost two months exactly or around two months that I've had Rhino and I just thought that I would tell you how's it been going because I know that even though you guys have been seeing a lot of the taming sessions that I've been having, you might not like understand like, what exactly I'm doing. So I just thought I would clarify. Pretty much it has not been going the best if I'm being honest. He still seems kind of scared of me like of my hands like whenever 
not like when they're in the cage, but like he's definitely not like specifically wanting to come over climb on to them and stuff. And that's been really hard. Also, just like whenever I try to go over and try to like pick him up, he always kind of like jumps away or like runs off. It's not always, but sometimes. And so I've really been trying to work on like getting him more comfortable with that and like with holding and handling. I gotta say it has been kind of hard because I really just wanted him to trust me and just be able to like hold him and everything. And I can hold him and I can still pick him up, but it just doesn't really look like he likes it necessarily. And he kind of like tries to like run off my hands. It's not really a great sign if I'm being honest. I really hope with these next 15 days, which my goal is the end of April. Like when I say my goal, I'm just like trying to work with him until then like every day. And then after that, I'm gonna kind of slow it down a little bit um, and continue working with him, but I'm just probably not gonna film as much. I just really want him to just be able to just be a little bit more calm in my hands. I think that's like my ultimate goal, to not run away when I try to pick him up. And so that we can just, you know, bond and I don't want him to be stressed out because two days ago, I think he actually, so he was in a tube and he like jumped and sometimes he like goes onto my hands out of the tube, but he like jumped and it was really scary. So that is kind of what I'm working on. I just thought I would give you guys an update and hopefully it will improve but this just kind of shows taming your hamster is hard. I feel like a lot of YouTubers make it look so easy. Like one video, their hamster's like kind of scared and timid and the next they're like holding it and they're like all this and I'm just like, because this doesn't happen. I like, tried to me, hit it in those clips, but know what I'm I was wrong. really, really yeah. frustrated. I'm a little frustrated, but just thought out. I would give you guys And not update. at Rhino. I was frustrated in myself for moving too fast because I felt like I had lost his trust. So I know that some of you guys can probably relate to this and feel like you may have lost your hamster's trust and you just want to regain that. And so what I did was I just stopped doing the bathtub bonding because that was not working at all really in improving the situation so as you guys can see in some of these clips i just started to once again get him onto my hands but i would not pick him up at all like i would barely even move my hand i, I would move it a little bit but i would not pick him up fully i was really just trying to work on getting him onto my hands I would put a lot of seeds and stuff in my hands and I would not pick them up because I think that that's kind of where I went wrong and I felt like I was moving too fast because he just wanted to jump right out of them every time. And what I learned is that you really have to wait for your hamster to be comfortable just being in your hands before you can work on picking them up and they kind of have to want to be in your hands in order to make that work. So yeah, I would just do this so many times. I would repeat this over and over and over again, just laying my hands in the cage. And then I would take a, taking another treat, I would just coax him onto my hands. And one suggestion, one tip for you guys is wear a baggy sweatshirt when you are trying to tame your hamster so that they can climb up your arms. And you guys are about to see here, I think, is that see, he just kind of climbed up my hands. And this is where I think that we really started to improve. He started getting a lot more comfortable being out of the cage. I would put him right back in because I didn't want him getting scared or anything. And he would just kind of climb up my arms. And I was super, super happy with all the progress that we had made since then. I did that for several days. Um, by the way, I would just leave my hand in the cage and not try to pick him up. But this is after that, I would do a little bit more. I would try to get him to climb up to my arms and I would slowly pick him up and I would just kind of hold him there and cradle him and I would give him a bunch of treats. And this is like, I would say the next step is just letting your hamster crawl onto your arms. And this is how you know that they have progressed enough to be held is that when they climb up on their own free will, that shows that they kind of want to be picked up and yeah, overall, I was so, so, so happy with how everything had come on. He had really come a long way in climbing on me and taking treats. And again, repetition is key. Do this every day, every morning, every night. I would do this 
so, so often in order to see some actual results. Another tip for you guys is to take the wheel out of your cage when you are taming them. Again, this is only for about like 20 minutes every day, so your hamster's not really missing out if you just take out the wheel. I always have to do this with Rhino because he will, otherwise he will just run on the wheel the entire time I'm trying to work with him, and it just lets your hamster focus on you a lot more. And as you guys can see, Rhino was getting a whole lot better with kind of just letting me pick him up at, and he would just kind of run at my arm and it was honestly, it was amazing. By the way, you guys, these are the treats that I have been giving him a lot lately. They are the Gerber Puff Strawberry Apple Flavor. I can give him not like a lot, but I can give him more of these than I can sunflower seeds because they're super low in sugar and they are very healthy for him, so let's see if he'll take some from me. Yes, he's sitting on my hand, let's go. I don't want to move or anything because I just want to get him used to just eating on my hands and not running away, as you guys can see. He used to run away a lot whenever I gave him treats, so this is actually Good improvement, very, very good. So he didn't run away or anything, so there you go. Now I'm also going to give him some sunflower seeds. You guys, he's crawling up my arm. Oh my God, I love this when he does this. Sometimes he will just crawl on my arm and it is the best thing. I love Rhino. I love you, buddy. Guys, this is why I have a hamster, man. for the background noise we're currently watching the office but as you guys can see rhino is getting a whole lot more comfortable being held um which is awesome but i think i'm gonna put him back in his cage now so i brought rhino into my bathroom to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a free roaming because i've never done that before thought it would be a good step in our little taming process i guess but i thought i would just kind of work on giving him some treats while letting him explore does not really want to come out of this uh, this was supposed to be like a nice fun little like a free roaming thing but this is the realities of taming your hamster sometimes they just don't want to cooperate so i thought why well, i guess while we wait I guess I could just give you guys an update on how he has been. So today is April 23rd. So we have been at this for quite a while now. And I think that he's actually really improving with getting used to me. He's not 100% there yet. He has gone back to uh, cleaning himself. Um, and he has actually been really good about like coming onto my hands and like crawling up my... And he's staying in my hand when he eats it, which is such a good sign. This is actually really improving because he used to just run off with a treat. Now he actually sits in my hands and eats it. So, 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 so happy that he is finally doing that. And I could probably pick him up right now if I wanted to. I just don't want to scare him. Well, I think he's had his time for the day. He's gonna go back now before he gets a little too crazy. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope that it helped you guys see what I personally have been doing. I am not perfect at taming and I am not fully there with Rhino yet, but we are getting there. We are so close. If you guys have any suggestions on how you've tamed your hamster or anything that you saw that maybe I can do better, 
definitely leave those down below. I love seeing suggestions and everything. And if this actually legitimately helped you to tame your hamster, I'm literally so glad. And don't forget to like leave a comment telling me like how it worked for you. Yeah, so definitely don't forget to go follow my hamster Instagram like I told you guys. And that is pretty much it for this video. Give it a like if I should make a part three. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.